Hi folks and welcome to my preview looking ahead to this weekend's Hungarian Grand Prix, the final uh, Grand Prix before the summer break of the 2021 season and we've had a fantastic uh, season and I think the second half of the Formula 1 season is only going to get better but before you say anything about my look uh, for, for this preview, uh, it's not a look that I would normally go for and it will probably be a one-off look so uh, yeah don't be uh, please try not to be put off by by, by this look and uh, yeah as I say it will be a one-off but anyway enough enough about my looks um so as I say final Grand Prix uh this weekend uh before the summer break and at the Hungarian it's not normally a track where you see many overtakes and I more than likely I think now I think that may well be the case this weekend um with it being a tight and twisty track quite a quite a narrow track as as well so not many places um for for overtaking so you know I think qualifying you know talk about qualifying being important say a place like like Monaco um I think qualifying is going to be just as important here well at the at the Hungara ring this this weekend so the higher up um uh, drivers can can qualify um the best of the chance they've got of you know having having a good strong strong weekend um but yeah no really looking forward to to this weekend and of course there have been stories um in the lead up to uh the um to Hungara ring but actually I want to start off with uh, with a good story actually um so you know typically you know you would expect drivers who you know you'd expect them to after a Grand Prix that you'd expect them to head back to say home or to head back to their yeah as I say head back to their their homeland um or their or their home but with Sebastian Vettel um he didn't exactly do that straight away at, at the uh British Grand Prix obviously this a race that ended in disappointment for Sebastian Vettel but we then saw him um helping volunteers at the end um of the Grand Prix at the end of the British Grand Prix I should say um helping volunteers um clear, clear up litter and you know in order for him to help raise awareness um of being able to um protect protect our planet and being able to raise awareness of, of the environment as as well and um I, th I think that's really really inspiring by by Spast you know and what he what he did I know that um he, he's working with I know he did in, in previous in well He's also set up a trying to look try to believe he's looking to set up a um B hotel um in the shape of in the shape of a Formula One car. So correct correct me if I'm wrong. Um but yeah, looking at you know, just by looking at those initiatives that Sebastian is is doing, the what the way he's uh, the steps that he, proactive steps I should say, um he's taken to be able to raise awareness of the environment, I think is um I think it's very inspiring and um yeah, I think keep keep the great work, uh, Sebastian. And uh, as I say, you know, not the best of British Grand Prix for Sebastian, um, but I'm sure he will definitely bounce back. And of course, he'll definitely want to um, go into the summer break um, on a on, on a real high. Um, and I mentioned in the um, review of the British Grand Prix, while Sebastian may have had um, a difficult uh, race at Silverstone for Lance Stroll. Um, it was a decent weekend for for the Canadian. Um, in the end, um, finishing eighth in the race, and more points for him, and also for Aston Martin, as as well. So, um, look, I think Aston Martin. I think they definitely would have liked to have been much higher up in in the constructors. But I think as as they are, and all the other teams are, they'll have one eye on um on 2022. I know that Alpine have already started. Um. I believe they've already started developing their 2022 car, um, and they've also, yeah. So they look, they've already, they're already looking ahead to next year's car. So um, yeah. So you know, I think Aston Martin, as I say, would like to be higher up in the constructors, but you know, it's, it's to get to where they ultimately want to get to. It's 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 going to take time. Um, but with a four times world champion on board in in Sebastian Vettel, you know, they'll be hoping that he can be the one. Um, to be able to take that team you know, to the to the next level of being able to to win races, to win championships, and um, yeah, we'll see we'll see uh, whether that comes to fruition for Aston Martin uh, in 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 the near future. Um, 
one news story is um, breaking ahead of, uh, well, in the lead up to the uh, weekend in Hungary. Um, so we've seen Formula One officials um, reject uh, Red Bull's uh, request for uh, looking into uh, Lewis Hamilton's um, penalty that he received uh, for the opening lap incident at the British Grand Prix, um, an incident which led to um, a high speed crash uh, for Max Verstappen and as I said in review, um, firstly, you know, thank God that Max was able to uh, climb out the car, um, okay, and he was um, okay. So, but I think, you know, having had time to reflect on that incident, I think it is a racing incident. I think perhaps both drivers could have done, you know, could have played their part in ensuring that incident um, didn't didn't happen, but. That is Formula One. You know, you are going to get incidents, and you know you are going to get crashes as, as well. That's that is part is part of the sport. Um, but yeah, look, it's what I hope Red Bull do now is they look. Obviously, they'll be hurting um, from what happened at the British Grand Prix. But now we know that you now the review is not going to be has been rejected by Formula One officials. Um, no, but both Red Bull and Mercedes can now look ahead to, to racing once again and uh, look ahead to uh, the race in, in Hungary. So, um, yeah, no, I hope Red Bull um, do that and also Mercedes as, as, as well. I know Mercedes have already uh, put a statement out saying they uh, welcomed um, the uh, decision uh, by the F1 uh, officials to reject uh, Red Bull's request uh, for, for a review. Um, but like I say, I think uh, both teams... Now we know uh, the outcome of of, of that uh, review and the fact that the F1 officials have rejected the review request from Red Bull. Now both teams can focus on uh, racing and, um, you know, it really has been a fantastic and, you know, t titanic battle between both Max and uh, Lewis Hamilton this year. And um, if this first half of the season for anything to go by, I think the second half has got the ingredients to be, to be even better. Um, but obviously we've got Hungary this weekend and it's a track that obviously Lewis um, has and Mercedes have gone well at. Um, just, just just the eight times that Lewis has, has won at uh, the Hungaroring. Will he make it nine uh, this weekend? Um, possibly, possibly. Um, but there's not exactly many straights um, on, on the track and... Um, we know that the Red Bull is particularly quick when in, in, in the slow corners. So, um, yeah, I expect another close battle between Red Bull and Mercedes. And, you know, we saw in Monaco, we saw, you no know, like, you know, we saw Ferrari. Um, you know, so saw Charles Leclerc um, put the car on, on, on pole. Um, and, you know, whilst, you know, at Hungary, there isn't the, you know, close proximity of the barriers um, to to the track. You know, there are a lot of, as I mentioned already, uh, Hungaroring is a twisty circuit, and um, you know, I think this potentially um, could be a track that suits the Ferrari, and um, maybe we'll see Ferrari both you now Charles Leclerc and Carlos Sainz perhaps you know up there challenging Red Bull and uh, Mercedes. So, you know, time will tell to see whether whether that is the case, and. Um, yeah, I, th I think I think it'd be good um, to see Ferrari up there as well, and um, I think obviously you got to watch out for uh, McLaren as well. We we know the scintillating form that Lando Norris is in right now, so you wouldn't back against him ending up on the on the podium. Um, but Danny Ricciardo, you know, he'll be coming into the uh, weekend uh, on a on a good result, really good result actually, at Silverstone, finishing fifth, so his best. A result as a McLaren uh, driver, as I mentioned in the uh, British Grand Prix review, finishing fifth, um, you know, you know, being his uh, best result, longer than he would have um, liked. Um, but even so, you know, hopefully, now that that's a couple of result, good results now on the chart now that Ricardo has um, has secured. So hopefully he can uh, take that into into Hungary, and if he gets another positive positive result in uh, Hungary, which he's, he's won at as well. Obviously, he won there, I believe, in 2014. Um, so it is a track that Daniel, uh, the Honey Badger, does like. So, um, yeah, fingers crossed it does go well uh, this this weekend in Hungary. And, um, yeah, as I say, 
he can pick up another strong result, then he'll go into that sun break uh, with pretty confident mood. And um, yeah, some momentum going into uh, the second half of the season. And we must also mention uh, Fernando Alonso uh, has turned 40. So many happy returns, uh, Fernando Alonso. And Fernando now, uh, he's, he's on a, a point streak now. Um, ever since he's... Um, because I know, I know he, um, I know it's been mentioned that he doesn't really like uh, doing doing track walks, but ever since he started doing that, um, you know, whilst whilst he's at Alpine, um, this this year, um, he's been he's been scoring points. So, um, yeah, and I've, and I think Fernando, the more uh, he's driven the Alpine, um, the more comfortable he's getting. Obviously, the results speak for themselves, which which proves which demonstrates that Fernando, you know, he's getting a lot more confident. Uh, with with the car and um, yeah, both Alpines actually finished in the points at uh, at Silverstone at the British Grand Prix. So um, so they'll be feeling pretty confident going into uh, the weekend at uh, Hungary. And good, to see, also good to see Esteban Ocon as well finishing in the points as as well. Um, you know, before that British Grand Prix, I think he went three races on the track without um without scoring points, and that and that was you no, know, that was before. Uh, start signing a contract uh, at at the uh, French Grand Prix uh, weekend. So yeah, good to see Esteban uh, scoring points um, in in uh, British Grand Prix. He, he normally goes well around Silverstone anyway. But uh, yeah, really good points for Alpine at uh, Silverstone, and they'll be looking to build on that uh, this weekend in Hungary. So yeah, I think a lot, definitely a lot to play for, not just at the uh, top end. Uh, the field, but also in the midfield as well. Um, but also, just finally, obviously, Williams um, agonised once again. George Russell agonisingly close uh, to um, scoring points uh, at uh, Silverstone. Um, but as I've mentioned, these last you know, at least three or four races, Williams and George have definitely been showing signs that they are improving. And um, I think it's good to see that Williams are uh, making those those strides. They're definitely in amongst that battle, uh, particularly during races. Anyway, um, they're definitely having more battles uh, with with midfield teams. And um, you know, as I said, George is definitely getting closer to scoring points with with Williams. And um, I think the points will come. Now, whether it happens this weekend, uh, I'm not I'm not entirely sure. But um, you now, fingers crossed, Williams can. Uh, get back to scoring points. It's been a while since they last uh, scored scored a point um, in in Formula One. So, um, but the signs for me for me, I feel the signs are encouraging uh, for Williams. And um, yeah, I, I, even even if, even if I, even uh, Nicholas Latifi, I feel has definitely uh, made made improvements um, this season. Whilst the results may not suggest that, you know, in, in qualifying, you know, I, th I think he's getting a lot closer now to. To getting out, getting out of Q one regularly, I think the signs are are there. Um, but yeah, he, I think I think he's definitely shown signs of improvement. Whilst some results may not have may not have, have suggested that, but Williams, I think, are definitely on a upward trajectory. And I think once they point, once they score that point, um, I think then the points will begin to uh, begin become begin uh, to to, uh, to come regularly. So that's the end. Uh, of my preview looking ahead to this weekend's Hungarian Grand Prix. Hopefully it will be a great Grand Prix as we then head into the summer break. Enjoy the Hungarian Grand Prix and I will catch up with all you guys and girls uh, later um, to when I uh, do my review of the Hungarian Grand Prix. I'll give, give, give you my top three prediction very quickly. Um, I'm going to go for a top three of Lewis Hamilton, uh, Max Verstappen, and Daniel Ricciardo. So I will go. I will go for. Uh, we'll go for an outside, outside bet. So Lewis Hamilton, Max Verstappen, Daniel Ricciardo. So that's my prediction uh, for those who for who I think will finish in the top three this weekend. If you want to talk things Formula One, uh, you can do so by. Uh, messaging me on Twitter, I'm at Baggies20, and I'm also on Instagram, Manish Patel89, and I will catch up with you all soon. Take care, everyone.